Have you ever felt like you're about to amaze every single person in the room right now? And then you don't. My name is Cece. I'm 21 years old. I live in Bristol. Uh, I'm one of nine siblings. That's five sisters and four brothers. And I have a superpower. I am very, 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 very good at embarrassing myself. Oh! Oh, we tripping! But this isn't about all the embarrassing things I've done in my life. It's about 2019, the most amazing year I've ever had. With a quick scroll through of all the videos I've actually done, it becomes pretty apparent that this isn't the first time that I've actually tried the whole YouTube thing. In fact, I think it's fair to say that for the last three to four years, I've been having what some people might refer to as, well, commitment issues. There was always something else that needed to be done. I'd often catch myself procrastinating and actively looking for excuses, which of course I'd always find. It felt like I was always waiting for something. A moment, the perfect moment, when everything would just make sense. It would all come together. All the lessons I'd learned, all the challenges I'd overcome, everything for that moment. It's a bit, it's a bit of a mad one, isn't it, Just? A little bit mad one. Just a little bit. Well, it's not mad for us, this is everyday shit. Every <laughs> this is everyday shit, it's mad for us. That's Joss. He's one of the people I used to work with. You see, by the time the start of the year, I'd already left education and I'd changed jobs from selling Swedish meatballs to knocking on people's doors. But that still doesn't explain why I'm in a tuxedo. Whether you believe it or not, the cutthroat world of door-to-door -door sales is surprisingly rewarding. Let me say it again. Yes, it's a very cutthroat industry, and those that can't sell quickly find themselves dropping off. But those that can sell, and boy, I could sell. They get given the world. It was a very important stage in my life and actually the foundation of everything that happened this year. I made some lifelong friends. I learned so many lessons, not only about myself, but also about life. Rule number one, always take joy in what you do and find the funny side of it. I had a good time and made a lot of money doing it. I'll admit, from the way that everything started out, I thought it was going to be a pretty good year. But even then, I had no idea just how mad it would be. February. Mad. I remember this month like it was yesterday. Previously, I'd said that I'd met some really cool people and made some really cool friends while I was working at the sales place. This is where a Corey comes in. Yeah, Corey, I'm talking about you, boy. <laughs> I know you weren't expecting it, but I just want to say congrats for the award and um, keep killing it, man. Keep killing it. 2020, we move. Most of you guys may not know about Corey, but for those of you that do, you'll agree with me when I say that he's probably one of the realest, most motivational, most inspirational people that I know. Thanks to him, I got to be able to experience my first time acting in a music video. I mean, it's not much. I got stabbed, but still pretty cool, right? How many people can say they've been in a music video? Actually, while I'm here, I want to give a massive shout out to both the Corey and Lex for giving me that opportunity. I got mad, mad appreciation for y'all. But it didn't even end there. The month hadn't even started yet. And yet again, I was given another opportunity to fly out to Monte Carlo, where I would have been staying at the Fairmont Hotel. Yeah, the one with the racetrack in it. Yeah, it's mad. Sadly, I couldn't go, but I could send someone on my team. I just want to introduce you to somebody real quick. This here is Lewis. Lewis, say hi to everybody. Lewis, where are you going, mate, on Thursday? And as you can imagine, he enjoyed every second of it. It would be a lie to say that I wasn't slightly jealous, <laughs> but it kind of worked out. You see, while Lewis was away, I got given my first opportunity to run on a catwalk. Things just kept on happening. It was like I couldn't get away from it, even if I wanted to. But it was good, because this was a turning point. It showed me that I really wanted to pursue modeling. So as you can imagine, when March came around, that's all I wanted to do. I just had to be in front of a camera. Though it meant that it was TFP and I wasn't getting paid anything for it, whether it meant that I had to travel wherever to go and shoot, as long as I could build my portfolio. 
yes eventually i'm actually going to do like more of a detailed video of how i got into all this kind of thing and my whole journey through it the idea is that by the time then i would have been a bit further along in my career as well so then there's a bit more i can kind of give to you guys but yeah, to this day, I still think one of my favorite shoots I've been to has to be when me and one of the togs I work with called George went down to a local basketball court. I mean, the results speak for themselves. On April 14th, 2019, history was written. The best TV series to ever grace our screens released its last season. Now, some of you guys don't get it, and that's fine. I don't care, you know, everyone can have their opinion, but Personally, everything in this thing had me gripped. Every turn, every twist, every betrayal, every death, every dragon sighting, every time Daenerys swished that beautiful white hair. Ting, uh, oh my gosh. This was the best thing in the world. And then the memes, the memes that came from it. Oh my gosh. It realistically made this month quite the highlight. But of course, it didn't end there. The next stop was Jersey. The company decided to take me, Lewis, and a couple others to go there with all expenses paid for a week, but not for a holiday. We were there to sell. You see, the idea is that Jersey was a place that hadn't been touched by our product before. So everyone went there to make money. And what can I say? That's what we did best. You know, it's when I got the opportunity to be involved with the BBC that I really realized I could do this for a living. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere yet. Real quick message, I'll keep it really short. Um, I wanted to say firstly, I know it's a weird place that I've ended it, but I'm splitting it up into two parts because that way it's not a 20 minute super talky video. So that'll probably be coming soon. There's new content coming as well. Stuff that might not be the same as that, mainly just stuff that I want to do. So hey, why not jump along and enjoy that too. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. Give me some feedback in the comments, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. You know, the standard like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. I, however, I'm super knackered from all that editing, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Peace, I hope you guys have a wicked night.